in this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but... Not a season finale. But, like, Reezer is not gonna be airing until February. It's the season finale for the attack card. But, still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Let's go. Biko. What if it's not, though? Wouldn't it be crazy if Omega is gonna show up and Omega is actually that one? Is Omega even an artificial spirit? How does that work? I don't know. What about Puck? It's probably Biko. Everything leads to Biko, but like, you never know with a show like this. Tapi is such a troll. So <laughs> It does. It's an authority. You know? Huh? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll don't wait beating the allegation. No, no. If he was gonna be sus, if we're going on with Pandora is out of there, why would he say that? Why would he ever say that? But that's crazy. What do you mean you brought it here? Have you always had a gospel like thing around? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> That's what I mean. Hey, what the fuck? They're prototypes. Like the base origin. Burned up. Okay. Yeah. Don't skip the details of how you're quite. You, you, that's the most important part. That's, that's like the most important part. I'll skip the details of how I'm quite. Don't worry about it. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. How the fuck do you encounter that? A prototype of the Gospels that the Witch Cult has. It got burnt up. It's all messed up. But suddenly it's, you know, getting restored by who right now? Uh, okay. And what I plan to do after. Like, like he has plans. His plans are what to do with it afterwards. What the fuck are you scheming? Ricardo. Liliana. Priscilla's here too then. Yes. The gang is all here, bro. I feel more confident. <laughs> Okay. Also, Al's reaction there to Priscilla. It's kind of how, like, Subaru glazes Amelia says, EMT! Rip. Liliana's dead. Yo, is that a foot on Al's head right now? It is. I think a lot of people would like this treatment. Mm, yeah, Al. Why are you ghosting Priscilla? Shelt is here. I think Priscilla's a Shotokan. Oh, shut up. You, you were smiling. You were smiling at the speech. You were proud. Yeah, what? You like it? You like that shit? Feya. She's rewarding us, guy. She's like, oh, now speeches, you know what? It's half all right. I am a humble god. I accept the results. Your reward is you telling me about everything that's going on so far. I'll join you. Yep. All right. You tell me now. Oh. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, she does. Priscilla, don't fuck around. Huh? In the sanctuary. So in season two, he found it. The charred rem ram. Oh fuck! It's Roswell's. It's Roswell's. Oh fuck! Fuck! It's the perfect copy. It's one of the two perfect copies. Charred of one. Oh, when I when it was flaming, I thought it was totally gone. I thought it was somewhere completely different than even having. But it's the one that ram through. Must be Roswell's, right? It must be. Okay. I don't trust you either, Otto. You're weird. 
正義なこともありますがそれ以前にも様子ですね皆さんはそのあたり甘く許しているみたいですけどいやけどあいつの力が必要なのからいいんです夏樹さんとエミリア、okay. その分の警戒は僕その分の警戒って<笑> Just the two 内政官として1年ロスボてきましたが大作業のそぶりは特に感じられませんでした OK ロスボンの best behavior What if he says something up on the timeline? What do you mean, time lag? It's like, Otto is like checking up. Everything is good. But some sort of time lag would create a situation where Roswell can be scheming and doing stuff while also be answering honestly at the same time. Time lag? Huh? Maybe. What's the implication here? If he was following the Tomb of Wisdom, his plan should be written in it. Some sort of time lag. The confirmation is to, you know, basically, Otto wanted to. Um, restore the Tomb of Wisdom and confirm there that the plans would be written if there was a time lag to prove or disprove Roswell's loyalty. Got it. So Otto, less suspicious. Otto, less suspicious now. But like, yo, he's he's just a wild card, huh? He's Otto. That kind of scares me, man. <laughs> Okay. I can trust you, right? Restore, who's that? So, at this point, how did the archbishops know that the Tomb of Wisdom has entered? Can they detect it? They can, they can sense the book? Or was it written in their gospel that it would happen and Pandora somehow knew ahead of time? Unless Otto is Pandora. <laughs> I'm, I'm really memeing too hard with Otto Pandora theory. <laughs> but if Otto was Pandora, it'd be very easy for them to know. Alright, Otto. True. You did do that. I'm worried for you, though. You better be careful. Better not be a flag. It's better not be a flag. So, she's up, but. I don't want to see my crush like that, bro. Oh, we have to, though. We have to. Here we go. Felix! Yo. Oh, this is going to be bad. Twinsies! <laughs> we're, we're matching! <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> one second, one second. I shouldn't be making these jokes. <laughs> but my stupid brain that's been rotten to always think about content first can only... Think of these jokes when moments like this happen. Oh well. Yo. All the way down to her arm, man. Not just her face, all the way down to the arm. Both arms. Oh, look at her thinking about us, man. And if you think about it, we prioritize Crucia's safety first and foremost, tied her up to the dragon, and we fell off. Maybe she would recognize that. She was unconscious. Maybe she realized that afterwards. But like, damn, she's thinking about us first. We turned out okay. Touch? What? Is that on her hand now? What the fuck was that? Whoa. Is this... I wonder if this is because Subaru also has the dragon blood. If anyone normal touched her, would have this happened? Probably not, I don't know. It reacted to us. It's, what about it? Transfer. He really is the chosen one. He really is Jesus Christ, bro. Take Crucia's burden then. Can he? I don't know. Oh, like, it's looking like we can take it. Uh, uh, 
It's specific to Subaru. Felix gets done though, so so dirty, bro. Felix can't do anything. At least this time, Felix isn't lashing out on everyone else about his lack of ability to save anyone. But it's so sad that it's just Felix that's been glazed so hard in the lore, the greatest water magician, right? The best healer in the kingdom. Can't do anything and constantly lashes out and feels helpless. It, it just sucks to see Felix like this. I wish that Felix could, like, do something crazy for once, man. <laughs> You can kind of hear like a dragon-like sound, right? Imagine the pain. Is she, is she getting better slowly though? It is? At what cost? But there's a solution. At what cost? Bro. Super just continuously has to be sacrificed for others, huh? Damn. Face is good though. More. More. If we take more, what happens though? Our arm, look at it. The dragon's right arm now? What is this? He gonna do it again. He gonna do it again. He'll do it. Like, it's not just about the pain, it's the implications of what this means for you in the future. What about this now? You have the right and, you know, right leg and arm of the dragon? Like, it's all cursed, so like... If it means that we'll just instantly regenerate, like, I guess that's nice, but like, uh, I'm worried, I'm worried. Glaze. And he is handling it, but... Okay. Say the line. That's a bit different. Okay. Yo. Let's go, main character. There's nothing you can do. You're just a water boy at this point. This sucks. It sucks for Felix. When I am upset and ranting about Felix's, you know, representation, Know that it comes from a place of love rather than hate. If you're a true Felix fan, you should be fucking upset that all Felix can do is watch as everyone else seems to move forward and other people like Subaru is able to do something that Felix should have the role to do, but can't. Subaru's, you know, dub here really probably fucks up Felix in the head and just makes him feel more useless and pathetic. <laughs> And you can patch people up. That, that is true. Blame yourself. Blame Kape. Like, it is absolutely true that Felix is, you know, important in AoE healing like everybody, right? But these healings are like injuries. That's so trivial. I don't expect the greatest fucking water magic user in Lugunica to be simply just medic. The most basic medic shit. Like, you would think that they would be able to overcome curses, authorities, and so on, but they can't. Looking like healing magic is really limited in the ReZero world compared to, the, you know, the curses and authorities. Dude, his right arm, look at it. His hands. Ew, he needs a glove, man. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy was the dude that Regulus showed up and put down, right? The cut content, right? The one of the strongest, like, eight armed people that was there when a Meteor that was, like, clouding some other witch showed up and the witch cult sent Regulus to Valachia, right? Yeah. Most powerful swordsman. Eight arm style. Yeah, but we know how it happens. Supposedly dead character seems to just spawn at the cult. What's up with that? What about Teresia? Can we confirm Teresia yet? Let's go. Supposedly died. Reinhardt killed. Yeah. Forbidden art of corpse. 
This some Edo Tensei shit? Okay, keep going, keep going. Corpse manipulation. That person is done. But the forbidden art stays. You can do that, huh? Pretty much necromancy, yeah. Too touchy. Yes, Subaru. You're the grandson that I never had. Reinhardt could never. We can't tell Reinhardt this, because Reinhardt personally dealt with Teresia. And to have that shit handled before this battle is going to cloud his judgment. Hmm. Sword Saint. The Sword Saint. Von Austria. So special. Okay, the distinction. Inherited. Does that mean Teresa no longer has the Source Saint Divine Protection? Because it's inherited down. Heinkel didn't get it, but Reinhardt got it. And if Reinhardt has it, Teresa doesn't have it right now? Not Heinkel. Heinkel was not worthy. Okay. That's right. Oh no! Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. She, my wife lost the divine protection during the battle. Forcing her to bring up the rear as just an ordinary woman. I thought that she died and it was passed. So it sounds like it just left her here? Yeah, it sounded like it just left, right? Like during the inheritance process, the timing of that shit. That's so fucked up. Why of all times, mid-battle you... Can we blame Od Lagna for this? We just recently, you know, finished the cut content from the Witch Call translations, which states that Od Lagna, the mysterious roots of all mana magic that sends divine protection to RNG. Od Lagna did it, bro. Fuck him. Onna. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because like grandpa got mad that grandma lost her fucking OP source of power during that pivotal moment. But here's the other thing. Heinkel, I think, is the biggest problem, right? Heinkel is the reason why the sword demon could not be there with the sword saint at the white whale subjugation due to felt kidnapping. Did he intentionally plot this shit so that... This could happen. Now, how could he have ever perceived that divine protection would have left? That part, I'm sure, was just RNG, and maybe Heinkel got bailed out there. Grieving grandson. Killed his grandma. Child, by the way. Toddler crying. <laughs> and then grandpa shows up. You fucking shitty kid. Fuck you. <laughs> Motherfucker, go tell Reinhardt that! You telling everyone but Reinhardt? He needs the closure. Motherfucker, you better tell him before you die today. I hope he doesn't die, but like, I think there's a lot of death flags for Wilhelm, so I'm kind of scared. Grim Reaper's injury. That's some heavy shit, huh? Well, the secret's out. I don't think it was much of a secret for those of you who's been paying attention to cut content, right? This is, this is not, you know, us reading ahead, but rather using the facts that's been given from the cut content. The Grim Reaper's divine blessing shit, right? That was hinted, like, in the beginning of Season 2. And it was pretty obvious that a Master Swordsman, like, that keeping out Wilhelm, the injury opening, of course it's going to be Teresia. And Reinhardt! didn't actually kill Teresia, but the fact of the divine protection going to Reinhard was the reason that he's blamed for having killed Teresia. I blame Heinkel at the end of the day, though. I blame Heinkel for fucking everything. Oh, matchup! Serious versus... Yes, very good matchup. Liliana, I think, again, is going to be crucial to counter Sirius. Priscilla versus Sirius confirmed. Yeah. You yourself too. 
確かにこいつのバカさと歌声が<笑>スンドのペレリーカウンセミーネを確信がね何か確かめる手段はあるかラスティッ What are you doing? Ring ring! Ring ring! Can I have a divine protect? What do you mean? What do, what do, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, he is OP as fuck. He is Mr. Unfair, God himself. If Super was Jesus Christ, he might as well just be God. Did he just call Old Lagna? Did he literally just ring, 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 ring? Old Lagna, give me a divine protection that lets me, you know, judge other people's divine protections. You got it. The world just bends. The world literally just bends to Reinhardt's whim. That's so crazy. That's very true, though. Bro can't even have divine protection to fixing his family, though. Where's that, bro? Come on, call. There's so many random, silly divine protections. Where is family drama immunity? You don't got one? What do you got, Liliana? You have one, right, Lily? What is it? Telepathy. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I love how everyone in the room is just like, eh, whatever. Super is like, bro, did you just call a blessing just randomly? Just play your songs, girl. That's all you gotta do. Concede the songs? Oh, taunting. Taunting. Uh. <laughs> Drama, nuclear drama. <laughs> Wasn't that easy? <laughs> All it takes is a little bit of provocation, a little bit of instigation from Priscilla. Pussy, you can't do it. Loser, fraud, fraud bard. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> easy. Kiritaka dead. Right, Kiritaka. Priscilla 10 dead. I still think it's Al that did this shit, as with the flooding of Priscilla. <laughs> Okay. Nice yeah. I think it makes sense. Capella. Who should take Capella? Mm. Maybe Garfield would be a cool choice. Because Garfield obviously has that whole beast transformation. Capella does too. Thematically, those two. I don't know. I'm just linking that. Mm -hmm. Her authority, her powers, yep. Yeah, I think it makes sense for Wilhelm to fight Teresia and Ricardo to fight uh, Kurgan. That was already the original matchup when we went there first. Yes, necromancy. Eight sword style. おんな。しかばねへの近日は好きかなっているか。確かに納得は。ウィルヘルムさんとガーフィルテイクアウトラスト。大層助けに行くんだろ。I uh, mom's new baby daddy. I'm pretty sure he is the dragon. The siblings are safe, but like, I think that it makes sense for Garfield to take him out. And kind of Mimi too as well, right? The whole Mimi situation with the two cultists. Well, Teresia. Yep. Yo. It would be so cool if there's a moment where Garfield has the most like battle shonen like protagonist movement. Or he's like falling, like he's almost about to give up. And like, boom, boom, he hears a heartbeat and it's Elsa instigating. And Elsa like helps Garfield win the battle. Oh, the the inner child of me that grew up watching Battle Shonen would go fucking crazy for a moment like that. Like Elsa takes over. Why is the credits rolling? Why is the credits rolling already? What the fuck? No, it's only fifty minutes in. We got we got we got a little bit left. Huh? Oh. A grandfather. <laughs> I can tell, man. 
I can see that with your fucking family drama situation. <laughs> the absence of a clear mind is an everyday thing. Wow, great. Great to be proud of. I see you, Sword Demon. Sure. That's wisdom right there. Let's go. Reinhardt versus Regulus. Let's see it. Yes! Reinhardt versus Regulus is gonna be so fucking sick. I want the Dragon Sword to be drawn. Not just against Puck in a random, you know, future that never could have even happened from a trial. I need to see that Ryu can be drawn in canon episode. Oh, yeah. Story, timeline. Holy shit, that's a lot of Vietnamese people, bro. I actually expected a lot more win. Win, 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 win. Tao bui bui bui. Tran, Tran, win, win. Vietnamese animators, let's fucking go. Let's go, you be the shield. Let's go. We got a new hand too. Was that reaction based on Subaru's new arm? Right? It is. It's the shock. Yo, Reinhardt, can you call up Od Lagna right now? And Divine Protection of Cleansing Dragon's Curses, Dragon Blood. Can, can, can you do that? Ring, 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 ring. Can you, can you do that for us? Because I don't think uh, you can't, right? Hey, Let's go, go teamwork. Just like Arc oh. 1. That had nothing to do with the arm? I thought that the whole arm thing right there was him looking at it and the danger that Reinhardt, like, Subaru was, like, placing himself into and Reinhardt being like, yeah, you are that type of person to always sacrifice yourself and, you know, put yourself in harm's way and come out on top. I thought it was something like that. The direct look at the fucking, you know, arm. Are you guys source material readers that's coming in with headcanon or is it literally from the passage of Subaru seeing Reinhardt as just a nobody, as an equal? I'm not sure. But the arm look there was very, very peculiar. Hmm. Julius, Ricardo, okay, okay. Got it. Classic. What about Al? Hold up, is Al going with Priscilla? I guess that's the implication, because there's no role given to Al. It's just Priscilla and Liliana will go take out Wrath, but I guess Al is going to accompany them. All right, a little bit of post credit scene, kind of. Ah, so this scene from the opening, right? I saw some sort of chapel looking place, crosses. I was like, which cult HQ? Busteco? No, it's the wedding reception hall. Look at all the wives just all sitting in place. Wait, is there anyone else there? I know it's a very stupid thing to say, but this is Omega, right? Yep, the one on the far back here is Omega. Ryuzu OG body. Echidna is here right now with the rest of the witches watching. I know it's not it, but like, that's my head canon. Let me believe that. I'm also suited up for the wedding, man. It's for you specifically, for Fortuna. Fortuna. Okay. But why that number 7-9, though? Because what is 7? Seven? 7 witches. You could also say 9 is plus 2 of the original sins of melancholy and vanity, right? Or vainglory, Pandora, Hector. It's also a prime number. 79 also may have something to do with some sort of constellations. But, like, why that number? I know why he saved the number, but why that number? He did pre-order her. He pre-ordered her so hard. Hmm. Okay. Are you a virgin? <laughs> she, she should hit him back with that. Are, are you a virgin? Because I don't want to get involved with a man that doesn't know what he's doing. And, and as he is one, it would be the ultimate fucking Uno reverse card. That parallels the purity and the chastity and the innocence and everything that Regulus looks for. And Amelia just turning that right back and being like, You don't have stroke game, bro. Who are 
are you? Oh, all the wives, all the wives are like, oh, you dare talk back to our husband? Oh, look at the concern from everybody. Orientation. <laughs> this is some fucking orientation shit, bro. Like, first day of the job. All right, there's some, you know, uh, tutorial, like, orientation you need to go through, okay? Yeah, like what? Like what? No talking. After marrying, you cannot smile. But I thought that the cut content and stuff told us that Regulus was looking for like the state of the child, that sounds really weird. State of the girl, when they're the most ignorant and pure, to be that forever. And that Amelia's smile is what he liked and therefore wanted to just cherish that forever. But we know that Regulus's relationship with the women here is all about ownership. Power control. So he is now exercising that power. You cannot smile. Ever. Okay. Go back. You know how there are some girls who look cute and beautiful normally? But if they start laughing, they look kind of ugly. So you can't smile like... <laughs> this fucking guy. This is the most, like, insult shit ever. What? Dude, that one example, he had one bad encounter. He had one bad encounter with the girl. It's like, oh, I love that image of you. And she started laughing and maybe made a face that Regulus was not fond of. He's like, yep, nope. Every woman, Onnas cannot smile. Bruh. What about you, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, he yapped. He yapped. Here we go. You're violating my human rights in coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> he always does that. He always walk backwards. He's like, all right, I'm triggered. Somehow, I will circle back to it's a violation of my rights. Some way, somehow, I'll do it. True. Huh? You should be happy and smiling. Wow. Yeah. What is she thinking right now? Is 1A for thinking, shut up, shut up, shut up, we're all gonna die? Or is she thinking, holy fuck, she's actually standing up against our tyrant husband. All the other girls in the fucking reception just sweating buckets right now. She cooked. She cooked. Can't remember the names. That's the same as being fixated on only on appearances. Says the guy that only cared about Amelia for her appearance. Now, maybe in his twisted logic, it goes beyond that. Because again, the power control, the ownership, right? His relationship is like, I am the little king and I have control over everyone else. But like, this sounds very hypocritical. Is this like a logical gap? Or is this his own like fault of logic of like, I don't know. It's in the numbers part. He literally has numbers on their uniform because he doesn't even remember that shit. This seems like just hypocrite shit, right? Says you. Oh, DMT, Emilia Tan. Yeah. Mm. It's like a serious moment. Wow. I can't believe Emilia Tan. The cringe name is actually being brought up here as like, just like the pillar of the argument to destroy Regulus right now. That's crazy. <laughs> My boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Says the guy that is about to marry with all his other wives in the same room. Again, this motherfucker is such a hypocrite. But again, in his own idea, right? 
It's, there's nothing fair about this. He lives in his castle, and it's whatever's convenient for him. He will always, you know, get what he wants. He'll always look at people based on their appearances. I don't think he even has convictions sometimes. But, like, when you really think about all you're saying, like, it kind of, like, you're doing something even worse than that. But you, to you, it, to him, it doesn't matter to him because he is king of his own world. <laughs> The violation of my rights. Oh. Okay. 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 It might turn into a funeral, man. I love how Regulus also threatens 184 or 182 rather than place his hand on Amelia. Like, this is crazy. I like the other wives are being held hostage rather than, you know, the threat being on Amelia. Yeah, we're going back to that. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Hmm. That's a pretty good way of like why Amelia doesn't really understand that love as she says, and that's why she can't answer him like that just now. Okay, okay. Where are we going with this? Okay, okay. She's yapping too. Okay. Nice. Adulteress. <laughs> you porn star, you whore. I know you got an OnlyFans, bro. She a virgin, bro. She didn't even know what a term virgin means. Oh, it's suddenly because she talks about Subaru. She's an adulteress. Okay, this is crazy, though. Amelia's standing up for herself really well, but I'm worried. What's the plan here? Do we have a plan to restrain him? Because, like, people can just die right now? <laughs> Reinhardt. Amelia really had no plan. Amelia had no fucking plan. And she was just yapping. Everyone could have died just there. Reinhardt shows up just in time. Regulus, he's probably not gonna take damage, but here we go. Yeah! Let's go! Act of Hero soundtrack! Yeah! My heroes! There it is, bro. I object. And wait, 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 the last one! There's that wedding crash, man. There's that wedding crash. I object scene, bro. And that's it. That is ReZero Season 3 attack arc. Eight episodes dropped in October. And the rest will follow in February. Thank you to everybody that's been part of this ReZero journey in our channel. Over 300 videos published every day. Just goddamn just cranking out ReZero. And it's been one of the best times of my life. It's truly such a great fucking anime, and I applaud every one of you for sticking around through this long journey. It's not over, but I know the bulk of you only cared about ReZero, so it is what it is. But the, for the few of you, the 10% that are still watching, that I was maybe able to convert you into cult members, we got a lot of different anime to watch. ReZero is simply one show of many, many, many that we juggle in this channel. So for the ReZero tourist, see you in February. We'll still be making ReZero content, and for everyone else, we got a lot more shit else. Today's episode, so suspicious. Otto, Tomb of Wisdom, Roswell's It's Saved. I'm worried about what that means for the future. Maybe Roswell will realize that the tomb is actually good and, you know, the whole time lag thing. We're trying to confirm if there's any plans in the Tomb of Wisdom that Roswell may not be really speaking about. Crucius Curse. Subaru now also has the Dragon's Blood Curse in his right arm now it's probably going to be the same thing of regeneration being cut off and not really feeling pain so it can be helpful but it is crazy how Subaru is just 
taking the afflictions of other people, curing them, and, you know, kind of burning himself. The matchups are made. Priscilla versus Sirius. Subaru and Regulus, sorry, Subaru and Reinhard versus Regulus. Wilhelm and Garfield versus Capella and, you know, the cultist members. And you got Julius and them versus Gluttony. Don't know what the fuck Al's doing, but the matchups are ready. The bulk of the episode then was just yapping. Emilia, Regulus yapping. And there's a lot of moments where Regulus, I think, was kind of tripping. He's panicking. He's contradicting himself. But maybe he was never a man of principle or convictions. Always just trying to do mental gymnastics to become a victim. And the two heroes show up, bro. What a sick way to just ruin their wedding. And it's time to make it a fucking funeral. For who? Maybe Regulus. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.